Today, it is my extreme pleasure to welcome renowned chef Susan Finnegar and Liz Lockman, the director of Susan Finnegar Fork, which is playing at this year's Palm Springs International Film Festival. We were lucky enough to have them live Friday night from opening night. Delighted to have you in studio. Thank you. Fantastic to be here. It's a little less chaotic here. So I, I really wanted to kind of dig into the origin of the movie because uh, I remember you saying that you, you thought it should be done, but you didn't want to be the one to do it. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> but you ended up being the one to do it. But as usual, <laughs> if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Um, yeah, it was an opportunity. She was there, I was there, I lived there. So I felt that no one would be able to be there in time with the right camera. I'd have to say, Susan, don't do that thing you're doing yet. Wait till the camera person arrives. So I thought, this is ridiculous. Just do it. So. And the film itself uh, documents your uh, opening of a restaurant called Street yep. in, in L.A. Yes. And it was a little bit of a departure because you were doing this more on your own, which is something you hadn't done for many years. Right. Well, Mary Sue Milliken and I have been, you know, chef business partners forever, over 40 years. I can't even say that. But, but you know, I wanted to do something small, back to my roots, not have a lot of meetings about it, just being able to, you know, Make a decision and do it, not have a two hour meeting about it. So, and it was, and I love street food, and we've been doing the Mexican kitchen for so many years. It just was something that, you know, it was a passion, and I just felt like I had to do it. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the food itself. What, what drew you to, to go, you said, you know, kind of going back to your roots. Yeah, well, I mean, from way back, my first trip to India back in 1981. I, you know, I'd been studying and trained in the French kitchen and working in French restaurants, and I went to India, and I was like, this is, this is me. This is the food I love. And so it just sort of shifted our menu dramatically. And so all of a sudden, there were all these different street food, ethnic foods that showed up on our menu, along with, like, cassoulet and pot au feu. There'd be, you know, a potato budgia from India or a Thai melon salad. Mm. Sometimes Susan says she thinks she had a previous life in India. So when she says going back to her roots, I think that might be what she's talking about. <laughs> Seriously. Her, her prehistoric roots. <laughs> I do feel that way. Uh, and now you have a, a brand new restaurant here in Palm Springs. It's at the Living Out. It, right. It's, at, it's called Alice B. And it's at Living Out, which is this high-end apartment complex at Takwitz in Hermosa. But it is open to the public. Open People to are the public. welcome to come and check it out. Yeah, and right now we're open Wednesday through Sunday, but we will be open doing brunch and probably Tuesday through Sunday, and who knows about Monday. Uh, <laughs> it's important to, to be able to screen a film here at the Palm Springs Film Festival because this has become one of the most uh, recognized film festivals, so that's got to be a real compliment to you it is as a filmmaker it's so huge I mean just you know having the audiences love the film is really gratifying but having the film festival pick it up is the pinnacle you know and the audiences in Palm Springs seem to be very involved oh yes <laughs> so it's really cool I can't wait for the first screening because I'm really excited to see how the audiences feel about it. Now, when you were filming this, uh, mm -hmm. you, you two are partners and had been for a very long time. What, hey, 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 watch it for, with the very. For, with the very? for, a, for a, a, many years, several years. Okay. Over a 20. While. Over 20. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to capture moments that yeah. are really kind of between the two of you. Yeah. Was there some point where you or she said, well, I don't, don't, no, we're not going to include that? We're, well, I um, wouldn't let Susan see it while I was editing it because I didn't want her over my shoulder going, I don't like that, or I like it. It's like, that's none of your business. Well, and I ignored her while she was filming. Anyway, <laughs> she was like in my way. So I'm like, like, okay, so you ignore, ignore me then, ignore me now. <laughs> because I just wanted to create the story I wanted to tell. And there were things, you know, Susan's, look at her. She's so great. There's very little that we couldn't actually use. There was that minute where I caught her in the bathroom. But other than that... <laughs> 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 or when I like pushed her out of the way. You know, yeah, it's like, that. get out of the way. I'm trying to get this from burning in the oven. That, that's why things did burn. Well, Are you sure it was my fault? I'm sure. Yeah, the other thing I love about this, the idea of this, is that you both, you know, you combine your passions into one project. And I just think that's a really lovely thing. That's so sweet. Yeah. I think the project is helping Liz's career. 
Is that, uh, is that the project you mean? That, that was, yeah, that's exactly what I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put up the screening times. I'm pretty sure that most of these, that it is standby only. I think you guys have sold out on it. Is. Yes. Yeah. But do you but, know what that means? That standby mean, means you can get in. It you, just means you have to wait for right, the pass yeah. holders. So yeah. that's, that's uh, it, it's no hurdle to go see this movie. So go see it. Susan Vinegar Forked. Uh, Monday, January 8th at 4.45 at the Regal. That's today. Uh, and then uh, Saturday the 13th at 3.30, also at the Regal. And again, Sunday the 14th at 10 a.m. So plenty of opportunities. Go see this. Susan Finnegar Forked. It is a terrific, terrific uh, documentary. You're going to love it. And I'm just so delighted to have you both on the program. Thank you. It's great to be here. And I'm really looking forward to getting to Alice B and checking it out. Come in. I'm going to give you my card. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick.